So if we look at those four Helix bundles to start with, here is one example. Um, here's a second example, and here is a third example. They are seemingly similar, but you would probably say that that one is reasonably ordered, that one is reasonably ordered, and this one is a horrible mess. There is a reason for the horrible mess, so let's wait with that a second. This for Helix bundles is something that occurs in Cytochrome C domains. This is part of something called TMV, that I won't tell you what it is quite yet. And this is a hem erythrin. All these are anti-parallel. I haven't talked to you yet about anti-parallel versus parallel when it comes to helices, but anti-parallel with helices just means that I have one helix going up here, and then I have a loop, and then a helix going down, and then a loop, and then a helix going up, and then a loop, and then a helix going down. If I had to create, it's very rare with parallel alpha helices, because then again, I would need some other structure. That should then be another helix, but if that helix is in contact with these, then it is an anti-parallel structure. So I can really only have parallel helices when it's mixed helix and sheet, which I'm not going to talk about quite yet.